Uh, and next, um, the Bangladeshi uh, speakers. Hello, good evening. This is Kodrul Alam from Bangladesh, a country uh, with an area of 144 square kilometers having uh, 170 million people. So it's a densely populated uh, country. And 70% people of our uh, country are landless. And they are mainly living in the rural area. They are deprived, they are malnourished, they are uh, underprivileged, properized. And we are trying to uh, mobilize these uh, landless people uh, for establishing their right to land. Mm -hmm. And we have a very successful uh, land struggle in the rural area. According to the country's land manual, the landless people have the right to enjoy the abandoned land emerged from the river bed, and there are also other fellow lands across the country. But because of the vested interest, the local administration is not executing the land administration manual. That's why we are just uh, mobilizing the landless people and encourage them to take over the land. Yeah. And so far, we have uh, occupied 76,000 acres of fellow land. <laughs> and we have distributed this land among more than 100,000 landless men and women in the rural area. <laughs> and we distributed 1.5 acres of fellow land among the landless people. Now they are very happy with this piece of land. They have some kind of food sovereignty. They are cultivating, they are growing different kinds of crops in their own land. So they are happy that they have their own piece of land, but in the past they didn't have any land. So they have uh, some kind of uh, uh, inferiority feelings in the past, but now they are happy and we are still working for them and still we are mobilizing the landless people, and it's an ongoing uh, occupation movement. And uh, uh, other area, uh, the landless people living, uh, are also inspired by this struggle, and it is a continuous struggle. And, uh, and we are also organizing the other sector, like indigenous people, uh, who are living in the north, and, uh, 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 eastern uh, part of Bangladesh, and there are 36 minority groups like these, and they have been living on their land uh, over uh, thousands of years, but unfortunately, unfortunately they don't have any uh, certificate on this land. Uh, that's why they are just removed by the majority uh, 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 groups, and they are also harassed by the estate operators. We are also uh, organizing them, and we are raising the demand that they have their customary rights over the land. None can uh, remove them from their land. So, and we are also demanding to the government that they need uh, constitu uh, constitutional recognition as indigenous people. And this movement is also going on, and we are very optimi optimistic that we will win in our struggle, because it is our right, it is, it is the demand for the people. I feel very proud to be here in Melbourne because in different sessions I have heard a lot of stories around land, especially the Aboriginal people mm. don't have the right to land and they are fighting right to land. That is very important for us. It is also inspiring for our movement. Going back to the country, definitely I will share with our people and they will be happy to be inspired, definitely. So it is really a good chance for me to, to get international solidarity here in Melbourne. So we hope our struggle will win. Yes. We, uh,
Finally, I would like to say the victory is with people. Yeah.